Hello and welcome to the Bearski Film Review. Please click subscribe to help support the channel and get all of our content. Today, we're going to go over the offensive drives from the Week 3 matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans. We're not going to look at every play. A lot of the Bears' offense was led by the running game, but feel free to check out my Khalil Herbert Week 3 video to see those plays. Here are the Bears' drives for the first half. Let's take a look at the first drive that ended in a field goal. We're going to look at this 11-yard pass play to Pringle on 2nd and 11. The offensive coordinator, Getze, has been trying to make things easy for Fields. There's a lot of pre-snap motion to try and help read if the defense is in man coverage or in zone. This play is an RPO. Fields sees man coverage in pre-snap, decides to keep it, and is able to complete the pass for 11 yards. On the next play, they try and run a screen of the wide receiver, but the defense gets a good jump on the snap and tips the ball away. This play is on 3rd and 9. Two seconds after the snap, Fields has a clean pocket and an option to throw to. Let your teammate make a play for you. If this ball is thrown now, it will give the receiver more space to try and make a play. Instead, two seconds later after that, Fields is running out of the pocket. Still, he can get rid of the ball, but he uses his speed to gain 29 yards running. But although it's a positive play, it's not what you want to see consistently. If you get rid of this ball quick, you'll take less hits over the course of the season. Let your athletic ability make plays in the fourth quarter instead of the first. On this play, once again, they set a man in motion, and you can see it's a play-action play, but as soon as Fields turns around, he's got pressure in his face and winds up having to throw the ball away. The Bears come out in a heavy set formation on this play. Play action, but the receivers don't get much separation, and the play results in an incompletion. But this drive does earn a field goal. On the next drive, the first play, the Bears get a 41-yard run. The receiver in motion gets a quick handoff and catches the defender off guard. This is set up by the previous drive when they kept motioning receivers but not snapping the ball as quick. It's a very good design by Getze. Now this play on 1st and 10 is an example of what Fields needs to do consistently. If the read is open, pull the trigger, hit the target, easy completions on 1st down, we need to see a lot more of this more often. The third drive is very short, but it's a great example of some of the changes we need to see from Fields. They run a play that they ran against the Packers, where pre-snap, Mooney circles around the quarterback and runs to the flat for a pass. Except against the Packers, Cole Komet was supposed to block and he totally missed the block, the pass to Mooney was low, and the play resulted in a negative play. Here, however, Cole Komet and St. Brown both don't block, they both run routes. Fields tries to hit Komet. He has a clean pocket here, but he overthrows the ball and, and it gets picked off. The worst part is St. Brown was wide open. This is the play Fields needs to hit. If the Bears score a touchdown here instead of getting an interception, the whole game changes. This next drive also results in a punt. You see a screen of Herbert that gives you five yards. And then on second down, watch Herbert. They motion him out. The defense isn't ready for a five-wide play. The linebacker looks back at the safety a couple times. And after the play snaps, Herbert winds up being wide open. This is a second down. Take the positive plays. Instead, you get sacked. Next play is a 10-yard run that can't pick up a first down because of this negative yardage. Next drive is just three runs and a punt. Two by Ebner, one by Herbert. Just couldn't get the first down. The sixth drive goes for 13 plays total. This play on first down, Fields just misses the throw, but maybe they weren't on the same page. This next play is an RPO. Fields decides to keep it, and although he hits Mooney in the hands, Mooney can't come down with the pass, and it's an incompletion. This next pass is a really good pass. Fields reads the zones in the defense and hits a wide open commit on third down. 
The last drive before the half, Bears decide to just kill the clock and take it down to halftime. Some people feel that they should have attempted something, but we're not going to get into the philosophy of things. We're just going to keep going and looking at some plays. In the second half, the first drive results in a touchdown. Cleo Herbert is able to get 52 yards on the first rush, and then Fields follows it up with a clean pass to St. Brown for 20 yards. But the next drive again is very short. On the first play, Fields is going to try and hit somebody over the middle, but the right target to throw to is up on the sideline. Houston's linebacker does a very nice job of adjusting and creating an incompletion here. On the next throw, although it's third down, stop pressing. Take the easy completions. Try and let your teammate make a play. Instead, you try and force the ball into traffic and you wind up getting picked off. Next drive, we're going to look at this play with Kokomet. Watch Fields pump fake and get the linebacker to pause for a sec, allowing Kokomet to become wide open. Now, we cannot keep getting sloppy handoffs like this. This next pass goes to Mooney, but it's forced in there. Fields has to be careful with these kinds of throws. This next play is a good example of an RPO where the decision isn't made right away. Fields kind of hesitates for a second, and you can see it winds up being a negative play. One thing that Getsy definitely brought from the Packers to the Bears is the quick snap while the defense is still substituting. Um, you can see here that they extend this drive because they catch the defense off guard while they're still substituting and get a 12-man on the field penalty. Rodgers does this all the time in Green Bay. Here's another example where you just have to get rid of the ball. If this continues, Fields is just going to wind up hurting himself. The last drive we're going to look at, they try the same type of RPO they did in the beginning of the game, but it's blown up by the defensive end and he sacks Fields. And then they just run a screen to Herbert to see if he could do anything since he was having a great running game. But um, fortunately, the defense was able to get an interception from the Houston Texans and the Bears just had to kick a field goal at the end of Fields needs to start stacking easy completions or else... To be honest with you, he might not make it till the end of the season, especially at the pace he's going at. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and there will definitely be more to come. Bear down.